Hello YouTube, it's another video. Ah, we passed 200 subscribers to the channel. Ooh. So I've decided to do a small upgrade to the project and I added a backup function to uh, LMDS system. So as you can see, uh, we are inside the portainer. Um, we have two uh, containers running and I'm gonna show you how to backup the system locally uh, how to recover from uh, the local backup, how to backup to a cloud to your uh, Google Drive, and potentially you can also recover that um, cloud backup to completely new systems so basically a migrate from one Pi to another if you like. Um, so, um, as you can see, we are inside LMDS folder and we're going to simply start and the deploy script. And inside, at the bottom, we have backup and restore LMDS option. Inside, we have three options, um, backup, restore, and install AirClone and configure G Drive. We're gonna leave the first option for later, and we're gonna start using a backup function straight away. So we're gonna backup this to a local SD card for now. And later on, we're going to install AirClone and configure G Drive to backup to a cloud. So first things first, let's start simple, run the backup. System will create a backup file, I'm going to store it in this place. Um, only four backup files are actually uh, kept at any given time. If you want to store it more, then you have to adjust the script to actually do it. There is a place to um, adjust this very easily. System also complaining that there is no Air clone installed and there is no G drive configured and only local backup file has been created, which is fine for now. So having a backup file created, let's go to Portainer and let's do some changes. So first of all, let's fix this. For example, um, simple as going to the endpoint, editing the only one that we have and putting an IP address of the Raspberry Pi that we're running this system on. And now, if we're gonna go back to containers, click on the same link, it's just gonna bring us straight to a container um, web UI. Um, and that's gonna be exactly the same for the other ones if you have them running. So in here, let's do some changes. Let's break this. Um, so I'm gonna disable cache, not a big deal, but I also gonna disable external access. So if I'm gonna apply the settings, I will no longer be able to access jacket from the browser. So it's gone and it's impossible to actually access it from, from, from UI anymore. Uh, you would have to go to um, settings of the container and fix that. But we're gonna do it easier way. And we're just gonna recover from backup that we just created a moment ago. So deploy again, backup and restore. System will simply stop all the containers. So have that in mind. I'm gonna restore from the file and gonna start containers again. And that's what exactly happened. It also says that checking that it's actually checking only the local backup files because the G drive and synchronization with Google Drive is not working because we have no air clone yet. So this is completed. We can go back to Portainer. Um, probably we have to wait a moment. Let's try to refresh it okay let's log in go to containers again and now hopefully and now hopefully uh, we're gonna have this working well it's recovered also that change to the container itself so we'll have to go again and um, edit the local endpoint with the IP address, apply it, go back to containers, and try it again. 
and this time it's working and and the changes we made are actually gone so this is back working and that's simple uh, thing it's probably gonna save you some time if you're gonna break a container um, and you would like to go back to its configuration from before uh, any uh, has been done anything has been done I'm gonna show you also how to reset container completely to its factory settings which some of you ask me mm, how that can be done so for that let's go back to jacket again and let's do some changes let's say we're gonna add an indexer it doesn't really matter which one it's just something to show you that we gonna lose this also and let's say we did some you know changes to this container or to any other one because that's gonna play to all of them exactly the same way so what we want to do we want to stop this container and then we're gonna go to command again we're gonna list everything what's there and what we have to do, we have to delete a folder from inside a volumes that belongs to a jacket in this case, or to any container uh, for that matter. So let's go into volumes. Let's see what's there. We have, as to expect, jacket and portainer. And we're gonna RM remove a jacket recursively for whatever it has probably we have to use sudo for that and jacket well <laughs> and there we go jacket is gone so the container it's basically non-functional anymore it won't start um, like it's we have to redeploy it so simply I believe if we can just start like that so what is happening in the background um, docker is checking if the image for a jacket is there the one that is initially downloaded when the jacket is or any container is created so it's not pulling this uh, from the internet anymore because it has it locally and it starts it. It doesn't have any configuration, so it creates it again. And now if we're gonna lease it, the jacket is back. But if we're gonna go to jacket, you're gonna see that whatever we had, it's gone because it's back to square one. It means to its initial configuration. Um, and that's gonna be exactly the same for every single uh, container, exactly the same way. So that's how simply you can recover uh, from um, a problematic situation. Now let's go to um, do exactly the same, but we're gonna back up to the cloud. It means to your Google Drive. So I'm gonna clear the screen. And again, we're gonna just go to LMDS folder and run the deploy script. And this time we're gonna install our clone. That's gonna take probably a few seconds. And then we're gonna configure, configure a G drive. The important thing is that you're going to give it a name exactly G drive. Um, if you're going to give it the name uh, different than that, um, the LMDS system won't back up properly or probably it won't happen that again. Um, it won't happen at all. So um, the system is asking us to run Airclone config. And when you do that, just follow exactly um, the path that is actually described in here. So just, you know, type um, and then give it a name, then 12, then enter, enter one, enter, enter no, and, and so on. So I'm gonna do that now. So we want to create new, we're gonna give it a name G drive. 
I'm going to give it a type of 12, which is go go drive in here. Um, we're going to press enter, enter, one, enter, enter, and enter again. We're going to say no and no. And now we have to copy the link. I'm going to a browser and pasting it here, let's say. And now it's asking to which account it should be associated associated with. So I have only one in here as an example. I'm gonna give it a access. I'm gonna copy this thing. And I'm gonna paste it over here. And then no. Yes, and quit. So that basically is saying that G Drive has been created and um, happy days. So now, before I'm going to go any further, let me have a look if I can show you that the G Drive is currently empty, it's nothing there. And now we're going to create a backup again. This time, beginning is exactly the same. It's not complaining that there is no G drive uh, or a clone missing. It's creating the backup file, storing the same place. Um, again, the same thing. And then it's syncing to the Google Drive. And the sync is completed. And now, if we're gonna go back in here, the folder has been created and all the backup files are here. The one that we created before and the one that we just created uh, a second ago. So that's how it works. And um, of course, exactly the same way, having this uh, remote and locally as well, because it's syncing uh, all the time, we can restore it. It has, it, it does nothing different than it did from the local file, but the only difference is that we also having a copy of these backup files in Google Drive. Um, if you would like to recover uh, to completely different Raspberry Pi, then what you have to do, um, you have to uh, clone um, the fresh LMDS from GitHub as you initially do. Um, then you have to install Docker and Docker Compose. So basically having um, a clone of, of that uh, LMDS system, then you're just going to deploy. You use the first option to install Docker. Um, then you don't have to build a stack, but then you have to go to backup and you have to install our clone and Google Drive to configure a backup from where it's supposed to pull it from. And then when you have this done, you can simply restore it. And that's supposed to start all the containers that you had um, somewhere else from the backup file. Um, I haven't tested that yet for uh, 100%, but I've done it once and it actually worked fine. Um, so that's how you basically using a backup system that just got created for anniversary of 200 uh, subscribers to the channel. So guys, thank you so much uh, for all the attention. Uh, it is so great. Um, I didn't expect it's anyone will be actually looking at this and uh, will have fun with it. Um, I definitely do have it. So if you like my work, uh, then give me thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. Take care.